<웃음> 안녕하세요. 제롬입니다. 네. 음, 부산에 10년 동안 안 살았어요. 네. 그리고 음, 케이스에서 수학을 가르쳐요. 네. 만나서 반갑습니다. 네. 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 감사합니다. 네. 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 I have been teaching in KSA for 10 years now. Donc, bonjour, je m'appelle Jérôme Tambour, je suis français et je suis professeur de mathématiques à KSA depuis maintenant 10 ans. Ah, so now I've been working in KSA for like 10 years, since 2013. Mm -hmm. And for the motivation, um, after my PhD in France, I wanted to have some experience working abroad. Mm. And... I decided to come to KAIST to do my postdoctorate. Mm -hmm. So I stayed in KAIST for maybe one year and a half. Mm -hmm. And then when I was in KAIST, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed living in Korea oh. and I enjoyed teaching. Mm -hmm. And I got, and I heard the KSA was looking for a mathematics teacher, mm -hmm. like international teacher to teach mathematics. So mm -hmm. I decided to apply and oh. uh, I've been to KSA. So my major oh, is yes. called Mm -hmm. complex geometry mm -hmm. so it's a mix between geometry and complex numbers so to summarize for like student it's basically what they do in calculus 3 about uh, like yeah, geometry of surface and curve but using complex numbers mm -hmm. and um, I decided to choose mathematics. Mm -hmm. Actually, I didn't really choose it. I always been interested in mathematics mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. I'm young. Mm -hmm. And I always felt it was like uh, interesting and quite easy. Not mm -hmm. always, but uh, easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I thought about it. And I think why I like math is like it's very logical mm -hmm. and there is like definite answer to most mm -hmm. questions. Mm -hmm. And the answer will always be the same forever. Mm -hmm. We are still using the Pythagorean mm -hmm. theorem. Mm -hmm. And also, all the different areas of mathematics, mm -hmm. they answer to each other. And we can see the same topic mm -hmm. through different yes. angles. Uh, so I've been in Korea for now almost 13 years. Aww. So first at, in Daejeon in Kaist, and then now in Busan for 10 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And Actually, in daily life, there is not that many cultural differences. Mm -hmm. Like um, when I was a student, I've mm -hmm. been to Senegal a few times for like total of about three months. Mm -hmm. And uh, culture in Senegal was really a big cultural shock. Mm -hmm. But in Korea, because it's modern and convenient country, in daily life, we cannot see really differences. Mm -hmm. uh, I would not call it culture shock because the main difference is in daily life is that Korea is very convenient compared to France. Mm -hmm. Like everything is really fast, the administration mm -hmm. or like the companies, uh, like for example, setting up internet, mm -hmm. it's really convenient and mm -hmm. fast compared mm -hmm. to France. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, cultural differences, the main one, They appear from time to time. For example, Korea is more like focused on. Yeah, they are more family oriented than mm -hmm. French. In mm -hmm. French, we. Yeah, we care more about like individual mm -hmm. feelings, mm -hmm. like uh, other people's opinion is important, but we try to pretend we don't care about it. Mm -hmm. That's probably the main difference. Mm -hmm. But Korea is also changing, right? Ah, yes, yeah, yeah, it's completely changing. different from like 10 years ago. Yeah. I think it's students. Mm -hmm. Like when I met new people and I explained I work in KSA, mm -hmm. they're always like, why are you working with genius? Mm -hmm. And actually that's true. Like many students are very brilliant. Mm -hmm. But what impressed me the most is that they are very passionate and hardworking. Mm -hmm. So not always in mathematics, but many students, they have mm -hmm. like one passion in science mm -hmm. and they can put a lot of energy mm -hmm. from their passion. Mm -hmm. And it's really like refreshing to see, but to see their project. So the mm -hmm. science festival we have in school, mm -hmm. um, I'm impressed by the 
by the many projects, the mm -hmm. international students, like the students from all around the world mm -hmm. present in the school. Mm -hmm. Like, I like that the idea that most of students, they present projects, mm -hmm. science projects that are connected to their daily life mm -hmm. and their own culture. Um, don't have many examples right now, but like I was impressed by, I think it was Indonesian student that prepared, that presented some application they mm -hmm. made. Mm -hmm that was um, destined to local farmers in remote area. Mm -hmm. And the application was some, um, basically, um, warning system for uh, natural disaster. So mm -hmm. they local farmers in remote area, mm -hmm. they could know in advance about yeah, disaster happening. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I would say to students, this is something I think I discovered quite late in life, but I think they should not be afraid to start new project. Mm -hmm. And it's not too late to mm -hmm. start new things mm -hmm. or to fix things that they don't like in their life. Mm -hmm. uh, just for a personal example, I started doing scuba diving mm -hmm. quite recently, and oh. I think it was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was challenging because there was many things to learn, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I think, yeah, one thing that come always to my mind is when I do something is, oh, I should have done this earlier. Mm -hmm. So don't, uh, yeah, don't hesitate to try new mm -hmm. things. That's good. Yeah, yeah finally, mm -hmm. say hello to Kemomar subscriber and the style of Kemi you know. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Kemo, smile. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Oh,